these Petzl ergonomic ice tools were an eye-watering $470 a piece for Mountain Equipment Co-op. The Camp Extremes come in at a much more reasonable $350. So if you want to pay $100 just to have the word Petzl on your ice tools and have a far inferior climbing experience, go with the Petzl Ergonomic. But if you want a tool that does the exact same thing, allows beginner and novice climbers to climb way harder than they ought to, go with the Camp Extreme like I did. Just be careful. Camp Extreme versus Petzl Ergonomic. First off, if you're a salty veteran ice climber, this general review of the Camp Extreme versus the Petzl Ergonomic is just gonna piss you off, so please keep watching. And don't forget to tell me what an asshole I am in the comments. Been climbing on the Camp Extreme since about 2017. They were my first set of ice tools, and ever since the Camp Extremes came out, other climbing equipment companies have been copying them because they're so far superior to all the other ice tools on the market it's unreal. The Petzl Ergonomic is a total knockoff of the Camp Extreme, except they forgot to copy the best feature, which is your ability to adjust the tool handle from dry to ice. You can see the angle is slightly different, but if you adjust the camps to the dry setting, you can get the same setting as the Petzl Ergonomic. Why is this setting worse? Because when you place the Petzl Ergonomic, this piece of the tool is forever smoking the ice. If the Camp Extreme are your first set of ice tools, however, I'm going to caution you the same way I was cautioned. I asked a veteran ice climber in Canmore about the Camp Extreme. Is this a good choice for a beginner? Here's what he said. Climbing on the Camp Extreme ice tools will make you think you're a much better ice climber than you actually are. And he was right. The Extremes are incredibly easy to place and they seem to find purchase in anything. However, that's great if ice conditions are ideal. If ice conditions are less than ideal, you can place these in spots that feel really solid but the minute you put any force on them, boom, the ice will explode. Here's my tale of woe using the Camp Extremes. Climbed on these about a dozen times in perfect conditions, unbeknownst to me. Never once had a hold blow. Naturally, I thought, hey. I skipped leading and went straight to soloing ice with the Camp Extreme. Went out on a day that was a little bit warm, alone. Got about five or six meters up. Place, place, boom, hold blows, barn door. And I had to leap six meters, landing on down sloping ice with a pair of crampons on. Catastrophic knee injury, out for the season. Unable to leave rock the following summer, not worth it. So word of caution, if you're starting off on the extremes, just be aware, there's no substitute for experience. They allow noobs like I was to climb way harder, way steeper, way faster than they're ready for. Just because you're top roping or seconding, with no worries on something like the Camp Extreme, doesn't mean you should start leading and definitely doesn't mean you should start soloing. Because the Camp Extreme were so popular, other companies followed suit, knocked them off, hence the Petzl ergonomic. Petzl didn't want to completely copy them, so instead of being able to adjust the angle of the handle, you can adjust the angle of the bottom, which does absolutely nothing to change the feel of the tool, in my opinion, for when you're placing it. So that's just a general overview of the Camp Extreme and the Petzl Ergonomic. If you're trying to choose between the two, go with the Camp Extremes for sure. Skip the Petzl Ergonomic. These are beautiful tools, easy to place. They're great for really heavy people. They reduce forearm stress. You don't get as pumped. And with the Camp Extreme, you will get the most insane Instagram shots, which at the end of the day, is not the reason why we're all climbing in the first place. Using the Camp Extreme, you'll be able to second almost anything with hardly any experience. The Camp Extreme will allow you to feel far superior to your peers especially non-climbers, cheers.